In today's video, I'm showing you how to make one of these guys. It's a Play-Doh kit. You've seen them all around Pinterest, on blogs, and on Facebook, people making these Play-Doh kits filled with little trinkets that your kids can play with and explore. And in today's video, I'm showing you how to make your own for your kids using Dollar Tree items. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Love these videos, they are so much fun. It's been a huge rage over on Instagram where people are making these Play-Doh Tinker Box tray kits. They call them all sorts of different names and I always call them tons of different names too. But essentially what they are, they're little kits with all kinds of little trinkets inside that your kids can to explore and they can make their own creative play. Usually there's dough inside of them plus some other extras and I'm gonna show you how you can source all these things from Dollar Tree and make your own kit. I've done a few of these already so I have some inspiration for you with other Dollar Tree items. You can go and check that out in a playlist. I'll be sure to link that down below so you can check it out after you watch this video. All right, let's get started. Ready to show you guys some new inspirations for some tinker boxes, tinker trays. We get these from the dollar store. They are in the hardware section. They are my favorite ones to do. Oh my gosh, and all this stuff came out from last time. Sorry about that. We'll just brush that away. <laughs> so they are my favorite ones to use because they're flat in the top, they're stackable, and there's lots of room in here to put stuff. Stuff. And the idea for the tinker tray is, or the sensory box, is to put materials in here that the kids can explore on their own. So we have an empty one here and I always start off with a base. Usually it is a dough because we call these dough kits or play-doh kits or there's so many names for them on Instagram. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. And <laughs> I just call them everything pretty much. This time I found the larger packages of dough and I put them into a toy test. I was really impressed. You guys have given me great reviews on them too. So I have three primary colors. This one's red, blue, and yellow. And there's a lot in here. So I'm actually gonna separate them. They actually come with two cookie cutters inside. So here's the cookie cutters. I'm not gonna use the cookie cutters this time, but what I'm gonna do is package up the dough. I'm gonna use all three colors. And when I say package up the dough, I have some saran wrap here, some cling wrap, and this is what I'm going to wrap my dough in. And the reason being is it helps it keep longer and it doesn't make it dry out, it doesn't let it dry out. So when we use it, it's just really helpful to divide it out. You can use any dough that you wish. You can make your dough. Also in Dollar Tree, they have smaller containers, which I've actually used before in past videos. The texture and consistency of this is so nice, and it also doesn't smell the same as like name brand Play-Doh. You can even find name brand Play-Doh at Dollar Tree, and it's a little bit more expensive than you can get it like at Walmart for like one single packing container. So I'm just going to roll into a little kind of cylinder-like ball here so it looks all nice and pretty. And then I'm going to wrap it up with the saran wrap. If you plan on using your dough kits right away or frequently, you can probably just skip this step altogether. How much dough you put in is up to you. If you want to put more, since I'm doing three colors, I'm kind of going a little bit less for each color because there's three all together. You can keep it all the same color if you wanted to, or you can add multiple colors. I'm just going for a color theme with this box, which is the reason why I have three colors. If you've watched past Tinker Tray or Play-Doh Kit box videos on my channel before, you know that I usually have a theme going with each one. You don't need a theme, it just makes it a little bit more fun, you know, if you do have a theme. So this theme is going to be, like I said, the colors. Past, I've done like an ocean or springtime. And then all of those, like I said, will be down below in the description box and watch and get inspired. But one thing's for sure, all of the items are from Dollar Tree. And a lot of times they're just reused too. I am a big fan of reusing materials when you can, so that way you're not just buying things over and over again. I'm gonna place these in my box. This is always my like conundrum. I don't know, don't know where to put everything, but I think I'm gonna use these three side containers here. And usually by the end of the video, everything is rearranged anyway <laughs> into different spots because I changed my mind. And let's just start off there. And then we got our start to our box. Next up, I like things that they can build with. So if you saw my Dollar Tree shop with me in haul, I got some generic Lego bricks. Found them in the same colors and I thought that'd be great to include in here to build with. Dollar Tree has a really good selection of these. And the great thing about it is they work with regular Lego bricks too. Let's put down in here. How many you put in is up to you. I might actually end up putting more. Let's put more, put them in this larger container, this larger slot here. These are great to stamp inside the dough. You can build with them, make all kinds of creations. The dough you can make creatures with. And when I say you, I'm talking about your kids. <laughs> unless you wanna play with your kids too, that'd be good. And when we set things up in this box, it's always fun 
that you make it inviting. So that's why I try to make things look real pretty. And then um, I like manipulatives and things like that to add in. Dollar Tree has some great googly eyes right now in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. I keep mine in the smaller case, which was from Dollar Tree. I haven't seen it in a while, but it is a great little storage case for little craft items. So I have my googly eyes in here and I thought I would add some googly eyes to our mix. Let's put them in the center because they might want to make something with the googly eyes and the dough. This one even has eyelashes. That's so cute. Also, this was a new find in the craft section of these wooden laser die cut. I've actually used these in Tinker Trays before and the larger ones, these are a little bit smaller and they come more to package. And I like that they come with a little wood tray too. thought that was adorable. But anyway, these are great little manipulatives to be different things in your, in your play seam. That the dough kits and the Tinker Trays, your kids are deciding what things are going to be. So that's why things are a little bit more abstract. So we have different items that we can include here. I was thinking that I might want to include these little crowns. So if they made something with eyes, they can have a crown with it. So I thought that would be fun. So let's add some crowns in there. And then I thought these leaves might be fun. Maybe they make a tree, they mix some dough together. Also these little mushrooms, flowers. Looks like I'm just gonna mostly put all of them in here. <laughs> and then maybe a cloud or two and then some butterflies. Okay, a bird and an owl. <laughs> so basically the whole thing. And then they have some options to play around with there too. I did get some of this tube confetti and I did get it in those colors to match. I thought it might be fun to mix this in with some of the dough. Would that be a good idea, you guys think? So I'm going to actually add some of this in. Actually, I think I'm gonna move my wooden things over here. <laughs> See, I told you I was gonna do that. Never fails, I change my mind. And then we'll put my confetti, my tube confetti down in that compartment. This stuff does get everywhere, not gonna lie. But when it's mixed into the Play-Doh, it should stay put in the Play-Doh. Now I'm actually thinking I wanna switch things up. I'm gonna switch things up. All right, give me a second, I'll be right back. I switched things up. I couldn't resist it. Of course, this happens to me every single time I make one of these. So I have my bricks over here. I have my dough on this side now. They're sharing a compartment. And now I'm going to add in my tube confetti. And I think I'm going to put that in my center here, right in the middle. And these are basically mix-ins to go inside Play-Doh. And although I haven't tried this, it's going to work, right? <laughs> Tell me it's going to work, somebody. I'm going to save the rest of this for another day. Then I went to the craft section to look for pipe cleaners. Since I already have pipe cleaners, at home. I'm going to use ones I already own, but they have tons and tons of options at Dollar Trace. Look for that and see if there's something that you like. I have some. Look, I'm moving the Play-Doh again because I just have to. <laughs> I have some from Daiso and I'm going to pick out the red one since I have the blue tube confetti. And I thought this might be a fun addition to kind of play around with. My kids actually play with pipe cleaners quite frequently and they do all kinds of odd stuff with it. And I think it's great. They're very creative. So I picked some out of this bigger package and I have some here and I thought I could put it in this section. It's a little too big. So I think I'm gonna cut them. It's great about pipe cleaners is that you can shape them and make them in all kinds of different things. That's what my kids do. They get very, very creative. We have some red ones there. I have some blue ones. So let's add some blue in there too keeping with my color theme, right? So I think this is a really well-rounded box. Of course, I have to make sure it closes. <laughs> it does. And this would be perfect for doing some creative play with. If you like this dough kit, I have more. I'm gonna put another one up here on the screen for you to go check out next. I'll see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.